Hey guys, happy week six. This week, I want to do something a little bit different. You've heard me speak about it many times before, but um, filling your own cup is the most important thing you can do for all those that you love and for yourself. When you have more, you are able to give more. So this week is another week off where you're being fired, but I do have a bit of work for you. There is a seven day self-love practice in this unit, which I would love each and every one of you to commit to. You can have the week off if you want to, but I feel like this would be the perfect week to just really delve into loving thyself. No stress, no demand, no um, overwhelm, but I would really, really love for you guys to really step it up and step out and, and commit to doing this for you. What is the self-love practices that help you fill your cup? If you haven't gone and done week two's um, honeypot challenge, maybe you might wish to go do that. Otherwise, in this week's units, you'll see below the seven days to self-love challenge. This one's done by EJ Love. She's absolutely incredible. But when we are connected to ourself, when we can feel like it's so easy to go about your day and be busy and doing all the stuff, but often we forget to, to feel in like, how do I feel? How do I feel? What feels good? How do I fill my cup? Because we can get into this whole thing where we're expecting others to somehow fix or manage or understand or hear or see us rather than understanding that it is only when we think, feel, act, connect, touch, love ourselves is then someone else able to do that for us or with us. If we don't know how to do it, how can we expect someone else to? So filling our own cup, this week's really, really important. Filling your love cup will give you so much more for yourself, for your family, for your partner, for the world, all through loving yourself. Plus which, learning to reconnect with yourself, incredible. Um, I've done, I haven't put it in there, but you'll see, on, I'll know who's watched this video. Um, I have an amazing woman that I've worked with, uh, with Jade Eggs. So um, a Jade Egg practice is something that really is incredible for working with the pelvic floor, being able to um, transform, utilize, uh, manage your um, your own muscles inside of your body that can empower you in sexual pleasure, in personal pleasure, in um, pelvic floor, which we all know is amazing for us. But it's also about just taking that time for yourself to connect in deeply, deeply connect with yourself. If that's something you're interested in, if you, I know that when I found out about it, I'd been, it took me a couple of years to really take practice. Um, and I found someone who I think is amazing at it. And I'd be happy to connect you in with her for her practices. But you'll also see the seven day challenges there. That one's from EJ Love. She's an incredible mentor and a friend of mine. Um, seven days to self-love is pretty easy. It's one little task each day about you, connecting to you, feeling into you. When we are connected to our energy, and of late I've noticed this myself, when I am playful and I am connected to my energy and I'm in love with me and I'm in love with all of what I'm creating and all that I show up as, my life works out amazingly and I'm able to just do so much more for myself. When we don't do that, we get disconnected, we get exhausted, we fall out of touch with our own wants, desires and needs and very, very, very fast, we will end up in this vortex of despair, we will lose motivation, we'll lose effectivity and it's really about coming into self. So please make sure this week you really, really commit. It's probably actually the most committed you'll have to be in this challenge is this week. There's also a post in there about daily actions. Your daily due diligences, the things that you choose to do each and every day are important for you. I know of late, I've let slip my own daily actions. And that's why I think it's really great that this week is what it's about is because it's about your daily actions. If you're like me, wake up first thing in the morning, get on your phone and YouTube out a 10 minute meditation. Lay there for 10 minutes. Even if you have to set your alarm for 10 minutes early, just 10 minutes, lay there and do a 10 minute meditation before you get out of bed. Then get up and I go through a very easy um, yoga um, practice. In fact, I will record the yoga practice and put it up for you because it's very, very simple. Um, and then I go about and I get my, my lemon juice. Actually, I lie. I normally will get up, do my meditation. I'll go get my lemon juice and I'll swallow that down followed by a water chaser so I don't affect my teeth. Sometimes I'll mix it with some apple cider vinegar and maybe some cacao pepper. Um, and then I will come and do my yoga practice while my belly's doing all of that. 
Um, and my yoga practice is five to 10 minutes. It just moves my body so much. Um, then I'll get into my day. And sometimes if I have time, I'll jot down a few things and pop them into my, my box. Um, at the moment, I've written out my, my visions and everything. What I've noticed is now that I'm in so much more love and flow with myself and my life, things are happening really quickly. So I actually do check in with my box and see what I've written down and see how that's showing up for me at rapid rates. And then I change and adjust my sales and add in new things so that I can constantly be aware of what I'm wanting to create and how magnificent I am at creating. Um, then I get into my day and I, I, at night time, I will then do the same and I'll clean up my room and I'll make sure I have everything set for the morning. So I have more flow in the morning rather than disjointed chaos. So it's really about understanding what are the practices you need to be doing in order to fulfill yourself and fill your own cup. Should you be doing some reading? Are you in the motivation world? Are you in the online space? They talk a lot in a lot of those groups about doing your, your gratitudes every morning. Should you be writing out some gratitudes or could you lay there and do the, um, lay down your meditation and do what I do, get up and I do a thank you process. As soon as the meditation finishes, thank you. Stand up, thank you. Both feet on the ground, thank you. Next step, thank you. Next step, thank you. Next step, thank you. And I'll spend just my whole time from getting up in my bed, walking into the house and in my head, I'm like, thank you this, thank you that. And I'll look at everything around me and I'll say thank you. And you would be shocked at how simple that is and how effective that is at bringing in some real gratitude and lightening the mood and giving your body the ability to shed away any resilient, resistant, um, stagnant emotions that just bring you into a total bliss state of gratitude. Um, so please, 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 this week, I would love if you would all decide to share. What are you committing to this week? As you go through the processes, jump in and share about it, guys. And also, jump into the Facebook page. This week with this self-love, I think I would love a little bit of love from you. And I would love to challenge each and every one of you to jump into the um, self-evolution and beyond Facebook page, the, um, the, the, oh, the public one, and do a bit of a testimony for me. I'd love to see what your experience has been to this point. It can be a video. It can be written with a picture. It can be whatever you want it to be. But this week, I would love for you to commit to self-love, but also give me a little bit of love. What has been your experience so far? What has worked for you? What has shocked you? What's happened that has had a ripple effect on those around you? What have others noticed about you in this process? Share away because I think when we share with love and we have absolute gratitude for where we are and what we're doing, that's when the magic really, really happens. So love and light, guys. Please commit to yourself this week and share every bit of it because only you can reap the rewards from this. In fact, all of us can reap the rewards from this by really committing to oneself. Peace out.